A police raid at a Kansas City restaurant. It's the latest incident involving Rockstar Burgers, a 24-7 restaurant. It's actually found itself and its owner entangled in controversy. 41 Action reporter Ariel Rothfield joins us live outside the now closed restaurant with more. Ariel. Kevin and Krista, earlier today, we watched as a crime scene unit with the Kansas City Police Department left Rockstar Burgers holding computer hard drives and other materials after they searched the restaurant and the floors above. As police line the streets, Kansas City police officers searched throughout Rockstar Burgers and the floors above, executing a search warrant in connection to a sexual assault investigation first reported in April. Why did it take all this and this long? The raid not surprising to neighbors. This man asked we not show his face. It's been a long time coming for sure. He's seen fights break out at Rockstar Burgers and spill into the streets, among other things. <laughs> There has been discharge of firearm in, in public. Um, I mean, you name it, we've seen pretty much everything. Since various videos surfaced on Snapchat, most of which we cannot show, there have been protests demanding the restaurant be shut down. There was something happening in our backyards that we like had no understanding of the gravity of. Last week, police arrested owner Brian Smith and Platte County prosecutors charged him with second degree domestic assault and armed criminal action for allegedly beating up his ex-girlfriend. And just before that, Smith abruptly announced he was closing the 24-7 restaurant for good. In a way, it is a victory because no more girls hopefully will be hurt in the same fashion there. Now, as police review the evidence collected, neighbors hope their street will return to normalcy once again. It finally gives us all a chance to um, just move forward, just, just focus on positive things. Today, we also learned regulated industries also did not renew the restaurant's liquor license after the restaurant failed to reapply for it. Reporting live in the West Bottoms tonight, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.